That's what's good, YouTube? Why I am back video with another motherfucking video. video. Hold on, wait, find some lighting. Okay, so my little brothers had to come to Atlanta and stuff and stuff. Tell me why it just took me an hour and 30 minutes to find them in this airport. It don't make no sense, okay? Because this airport is big. Like, when I tell y'all it's huge, it's that side and then this, that side is like, it's huge. So like, she was on the other side, we was on the I other side. I believe Houston airport is bigger than um Atlanta's. Yeah, you know why I might be lying. Was closer, but you know what? It should have took rocket science. But I found them. They're here. We're in Atlanta. We're in the A with it. Gang, gang. So, I don't know what they're doing here. They haven't gave me a rundown of anything. I'm just kind of here to be here. I haven't been to Atlanta. Well, technically since the last time that I was in Atlanta, but I haven't been been to Atlanta in about three, four years. So I'm ready to go. How do feel to be in Atlanta? Better than being at home. We finna make some hard content. What y'all doing out here? So we finna collab with some people. Y'all gonna see. Who y'all collabing with? Curly collabing with Curly and Monty. Gender twins, maybe even for you this Hey y'all, so let's tell y'all about our day. So, okay, crazy. when was the last time I talked to y'all? Oh, when we was about to get a fucking Uber, right? Okay, so boom, right? We waiting on the Uber, waiting on the Uber. Say she five minutes away, cool. So five minutes, turn to four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, cool. Then say she there. We looking around. She was nowhere to, nowhere be, found. to be found. We went to every car to make sure, you know, we, we did not see a black Hyundai. Okay. Yeah. We did not see you. So then she canceled on us and then tried to, um, tried to, but it was still like charging me. Like it was still like trying to charge me for the trip. Like I took the trip. Yeah. No, I didn't take the trip, baby. So we waited up there for like an hour and Finally, this guy, this random guy was like, hey, y'all need a ride? I'll be like, yeah, type shit. Don't ever do that, kids. But gave us a ride. We still had to pay him or whatever, but gave us a ride to the hotel. We at the hotel now. Then we get to the hotel. Hotel tried to give us problems. It was just too much, but we finally got it. We in the room. Now I finally get to smoke my marijuana. We ran on camera to come back to tell us because he's going to be the one to decide what we door dash because we're about to have like a little movie day or whatever. The airport just took way too fucking long. Like everybody's exhausted. They had to take two flights because yesterday, y'all, why yesterday both of our flights get canceled at the same exact time? Like, boom, like it was, uh, it was so freaking weird. But we just looked at it like it happened for, it happened for a reason. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, yeah. we just we just chill. You see, I got that 14. Cinematic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, Atlanta is beautiful, man. Ah! Yeah, that beer is hot. Every state and city needs to be like this for real. Yeah. It's, it's a, like a vibe that like, you can walk around and stuff. But, and the weather is perfect. It, it, it got it like it got wind and it's like the perfect amount of heat out here. Yeah. It's nice out here. I like it. It's a vibe, it's just chill. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe all the time. That's my song right there. I don't really care song. what we know, but I'm what? Actually, I'm actually, That's Krishan. Where'd you get these pants? It's no surprise. Can't look me in my eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We walking back to the hotel. I don't look dry. Oh, look at this. Look at that cloud. You don't even look real. Look like a feather. Hi. <laughs> Y'all, we so smart. We just yeah. got we just got a seafood this is boil. This a island. Okay, man, man. yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just tasted it. Damn, so I got I'm for Uber. We, we, oh shoot. We gonna catch a Uber.
They're so excited. Look at them. Right, <laughs> little kids. The little cute. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. Look at them just growing up. Yeah. Just growing up so fast. Yeah. Oh, my kids. Y'all. When I tell y'all, I'm exhausted. But it's okay. I'm doing this for them. And I'm going to stay up. you know get a certain way but I don't think that that's true every time I get around people every time I call myself in friendships and relationships anything like that I always it always drains me like I'm I'm moving from Houston in November for my birthday that's my birthday present to myself um moving somewhere I don't know where yet but I'm moving somewhere. And when I get to this destination, wherever that may be, I just want to be alone. You know, I just want total peace. Every time I'm alone and every time I do things by myself, I feel so powerful. And I feel as if I can take over the fucking world. Why do I keep jeopardizing that? Why do I keep jeopardizing my peace because of what society thinks a person needs? No, not doing anything. Every time I'm, every time I'm alone, I just do better. Like I would be locked the fuck in. You feel me? And maybe, maybe that's the universe way of showing me that I need that time. Like because technically, my time where I was learning myself got cut short because I got into a relationship. So then it was cut short, and I completely lost myself. So now that I'm so now that I'm finding myself again, it's like a restarting process or whatever. But I'm not jeopardizing that shit this time, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I just can't. I got shit to do. I got art to sell. I got poetry to read. Everyone is so closed-minded. Everyone has this one way of thinking. And if you don't think like that, then they bash you for it. And then they troll you for it. I'd rather not be a part of it all. My recent supporters, since I've been on my spiritual journey, they have been the only people who's getting me through the day. Y'all kind messages and y'all kind words, are it's crazy. There's no such thing as true love no more. I believe in love. Don't get it twisted. I believe in love. I, I'm a very, very hope, very much so a hopeless romantic. I love the idea of love, but it does not love the idea of me. Quote from my book. But every relationship nowadays is based off of something that something that the other person can get you feel what i'm saying every relationship is built off of someone using the other person there's no two true genuine friendships anymore everyone it always has to be something you can't even have conversations anymore like you try to have a conversation with someone you know it's, it's instantly an argument because you don't see the same you don't see something the same way that they see it it's, it's not even worth having conversations anymore going out don't get me started on that shit y'all know I, I y'all know no it's just this world today is just when y'all find out you let me know please because I don't know I feel like I'm going through a it's some kind of shift it's something in the air it's something in you know my horse i don't freaking know but i'm going through something and it's making me realize that i am not a part of this world that i really could be an alien who knows but all i'm saying is that i want to be alone i want to i want to be at peace 
I want to be somewhere with some trees or by some water, painting, and at peace because people do not bring you peace. You can only bring yourself peace. <laughs> like, and that's facts. And that's what I'm realizing as I'm growing up. Like, for years, I think I said this before, for years I was trying to be something. Every time I would meet somebody, I would try to be what I thought they would want me, what, what I thought they want me to be. So then when I um, began to show my true self and begin to really be myself around them because I got comfortable, they were like, whoa, who the hell is this? Which makes sense, you feel me? Because I didn't come, I, I came into that relationship falsely. So now that I'm older and I realized that, I've reali I realized that after my past relationship. So now that I've been going into relationships, and I'm meaning this is friendships and relationships. When I go into friendships and relationships, I go in as my true genuine self. And now that I'm going in as my true genuine self, I'm realizing that the, the kind of person that I am attracts leeches. <laughs> so, to avoid that, I need to be alone. I need to make it to where that cannot happen. That even though I am this kind of person, that's probably never going to change. You feel me? Like, maybe God put me on this earth for people to use me. Like, I know that sounds bad, but, you know, follow me for a minute. Maybe God put me on this earth for people to use me. But until I am capable of taking care of myself and taking care of other people, I don't need anyone. Because... Man, when I tell you, I'm just counting down the days. Like every single day, it's just a closer. It's a it's a day closer to November, to me moving, to me restarting, to me really getting the life that I've always dreamed of. And when I tell y'all, that makes me so fucking happy, bro. Like to do something that I want to do, be somewhere that I want to be. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me, dude. I was talking to a YouTuber and I was explaining to him that after I went viral, I just kind of like distanced myself from social media and now I like, you know, I just, I don't know how to use it. I'm not really on it. And he was saying how, you know, once you find that group, that fan group that really supports you, that's all the people you need. And I really feel like that I'm slowly finding those people with this journey. Like every video I post, every single, like every time I post a video, I find a new person that relates to me. And I feel like at this point in my life, you guys are all I freaking need. So get ready. <laughs> get ready to fully, fully, fully see the real me fully be me because I'm about to really get consistent because it's that time it's that time it's go time you feel me it's go time so let's get it so I'm gonna come up with a name for y'all I mean I call y'all dudes y'all my dudes let's get it dudes <laughs> That oh, check up, like, when we flew off here, it, it, it went off. Like, that was scary. Like, and I never got that scared. Because the first time I got on the airplane, it, it, was, it, felt, it felt chill. That time, it was scary. Yeah. you thought you'd die giving so much of yourself it seems the only way tell me what you want and i and i will give it to you Cause Remember the time mm -hmm. Do you remember 
remember the time oh, I fell in love. You remember the time when we first met. Do you girl. remember the time? Oh, I fell in love. You, you remember the time? Oh, I still believe. Oh. <laughs> 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 you to set me free.